Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we are making Southern style fried corn. Now this recipe is unbelievably delicious. It's bacony, it's fresh tasting, and it goes with any kind of main dish. Now this recipe is dedicated to one of my viewers, Victoria. Thanks for your suggestion, Victoria, and I really appreciate your watching my show. Now let's make Southern style fried corn. Okay, the first step to our recipe is we're going to cut up some bacon. And what I have here is some thick cut uncured bacon, which just means that it doesn't have any nitrates in it, which makes it really nice. This is really, really nice bacon. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this just in little pieces. We're going to make our own, ver very own bacon bits. And it might help a little bit if you put this in the freezer actually for a few minutes because it's a little soft and it'll help um, firm it up. That's okay though. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to cut up these six slices and then we're going to cook them. Okay, now we're going to cook our bacon. And I put a little tiny bit of olive oil in there just because this isn't a nonstick pan. And we're going to put the bacon in here and we're going to cook it till it's pretty crispy. Oh, wow. And the minute that bacon hit the pan, it was like smoky goodness. Okay, so our bacon is done and we're just going to go ahead and take it out. I I cooked it a little crisp because I want, I don't want it to be like chewy in our dish. So we're going to go ahead and remove the bacon and we're going to prep our corn and we're going to leave this bacon fat in here. Do not remove the bacon fat. This isn't a diet dish, right? So let's prep our corn. Okay, so next we're going to prep our corn and we got some really sweet fresh corn and this recipe is the best with fresh corn. You can use um, frozen corn. It's really great, especially when there's no really good fresh corn available. I wouldn't recommend using canned corn. I would just stick with fresh or frozen. So we are going to remove the um, kernels from this corn and to do that, you just take your corn and a knife and you're going to cut down and you kind of need a big cutting board because this is a little bit of a messy job. So we're just going to cut down, remove the kernels. Ooh, got me in the face. Once the kernels are removed, what we want out of here is the milk and it's going to give us kind of a creamy texture in our fried corn. And basically, if you have really sweet, juicy corn, this is chock filled with corn goodness, right? And to get that out, you're just going to take the edge of your knife and scrape into a bowl. And it is messy because this, if you have really sweet corn, it pretty much splatters everywhere but it's going to give us a kind of a creamy consistency in our fried corn. Okay, so we have our pan on medium heat and we have all our bacon grease in there. I'm just going to give that bacon grease a little bit of a friend here. Little piece of butter. And we're going to throw in one chopped medium onion and we're going to cook that until it's a little translucent. We're going to take the raw edge off of it. So now that the onion is softened up a little, we're going to put a little bit of red bell pepper. This is one small red bell pepper. And we're just going to cook that a little bit and again take the raw edge off of it. So now that this is softened up, we're going to go ahead and put three cloves of garlic in there. And you don't want to put your garlic in too soon because it'll just burn and get bitter. So garlic is one of those things that you just put in 
and let it go maybe for a minute or two. Okay, so now we're going to put a little bit more butter in here. And we're going to put a couple tablespoons of butter. I know, I know, right? But sometimes you just got to do it. And we're going to let that melt. Okay, now that our butter is melted, we're going to go ahead and put in our fresh corn. And this is a lot of corn with a bunch of corn milk. Gonna make sure we get all that corn milk in there. It's gonna make it a little bit creamy. We're gonna go ahead and stir this up. We're pretty much gonna cook this until our corn is nice and warmed up. It's going to not get crispy, but it's gonna get a little browned and delicious, right? Okay, so while this is cooking, it's going to take a little while. We're going to go ahead and put a little bit of seasoning on it. We're going to put some fresh ground pepper. I like quite a bit. We're going to keep seasoning it as we go along until it's seasoned to our liking. We're going to put a salt. It's usually going to take quite a bit of salt, and the salt brings up the sweet corn flavor. Okay, so we've cooked our corn about 20 minutes and we've salt and peppered it to our taste. It looks really good. Fried corn is what we kind of call as cream corn in the West, but it's nice and creamy from all that corn milk and has some really great flavor. So we're going to go ahead and top it with our bacon. Wow. And now we're ready to plate it. Okay, so let's plate it up. Wow, it looks really good. It's nice and creamy, just like fried corn or cream corn should be. Put a little bacon on the top. I'll steal some bacon on here. Wow. I'll steal a little more bacon. And you know what? I'm so ready to take a taste of this, I can't even stand it. Okay, now it's time to dig into this. Mmm. It's hot. Well, that is so, so good. The bacon, the corn is fresh and sweet the butter. Mm. The bacon grease? That is what you call incredible. Wow, that just, that it's just not your regular old boiled corn. It's, um, it's just, I can't even describe it. It's so good. Mm. Wow. The corn milk, I can't say it made it creamy, but it makes sort of a creaminess to it. It's similar to what I think of as cream corn a little bit, but not like cream corn out of the can because cream corn out of the can is just downright watery. This is corn with a little cream and bacon and the onion and the butter. Wow. I think if Eric turns his head, I'm going to eat this whole thing. Mm. <laughs> if you like this recipe, please subscribe below and log on to my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Pinterest and Twitter at amylearnstocook. Crunchy, crisp, however you want to say that. Um, bacon is great. Bell pepper. It's, just, it's a balanced taste, but the corn is sweet and it just tastes great. Um, 
I would never do it without bacon. Um, Victoria, two thumbs up to your suggestion and two thumbs up to Amy for actually making it. I think so it's definitely a winner. A bonus points if you scrape off the bottom. That's where the action is. Mmm. A whole lot of love in this bite.